right, dudes, talking sh truck, high road, the hero, boy. What the diddy, My boy, I'll And you brought We're some... safe in here. We don't put seatbelts on. Yeah, yeah. Safe. All right, cool. So we're going to start driving, and we're going to start talking shit. Yeah. Because, uh, man, I'm telling you, uh, the rain came, but people were going off. Let's uh, go. Never back down. Sound never great. Back, back down. down. And you know what's funny is we rehearsed that song. I'd be wondering, like, man, is people going to feel it? But they feel it in such a different way. It's like, you know, I can get the pit going. I can get the place going crazy. But when they hear Never Back Down, it's like people mesmerize. Oh, cool. It's a whole different ball game. You know what? Because you've got that female gospel voice in there. That yeah. Kind of like, uh, Churchy like vibe. melts yeah. kind of people. Get I'm talking about the it a vibe. mesmerized feeling, which yeah. I love. Bro. So that's what's up. Uh, I saw you jumping around, going all crazy. Oh, yeah, man. You know, it's all energy. It's all in my heart. I'm just putting out what I feel. You get what I'm saying? You know, I ain't the biggest and best, but... I'm trying to get somewhere, and so the only way I could do it is put my heart in there, you know? Dude, you know what I've noticed, Hyro, uh, over this last year plus of hanging with you? We did a cool party uh, last June yes. uh, at my studios in Seal Beach, and but yes. I've been uh, really impressed with your rise and how many cool shows and festivals oh, you keep man. doing. <laughs> it's and how crazy, many, man. And how many um, more new fans you're exposing. Yeah. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Uh, how many new fans you're exposing yourself to by playing at all these shows oh, and getting out there and, and being so explosive that people have to remember you. Well, so crazy. I looked at my Instagram right now. I just got a hundred new followers <laughs> in, like, quick. You gave out your Instagram on Oh, yeah, Jerry. you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he were like, hey, what about it? Hey. I said, like, y'all don't see no banner up here. Yeah. Yo, I got to work. I'm trying yeah. to get this banner, y'all. That's what it's about. I need that banner. <laughs> You gotta follow <laughs> at High Road the Hero. And it was man. cool, bro. I look to the side of the stage and I see Beartooth on the side. Yeah. They rocking out first song. I said, okay, dope. Third song, they still there. Last song, they still. I said, what the? They sat through the whole set. Nice. Insane, man. And them dudes killing it in the game right now. You got some serious fans, though, in bands, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, High Road. A lot of dudes that man, well, I see you like you're collaborating with all these different artists. What's oh, up with that, yeah. man? Well, I don't know what's happening, but I just see you in the studio with, with all these different musicians, yeah. Danny from Asking Alexandria, and some other cats. I'm like, what is that? Danny, all of them showing love, Ben, bro. I got something cooking with Ben right now. Oh, That's Ben so Bruce uh, from Asking Alexandria, guitar player, it's friend amazing. of ours. Amazing. I got that cooking. I got something with Tommy cooking from Bad Wolves. I got uh, what else? I got Chris from Bush. I got fucking, um, man, I got so much dope what? shit going on. In yeah. addition to High Road. In addition. So it's just building up, you know what I'm saying? Making you know, moves. These making, are little, making money moves, boy. Yeah, bro. So these little little things here and now I'm building up, especially because I got to get ready. The next album got to be even better than this one, you know Yeah, what I'm Flag saying? Channel was a fantastic Yeah, release, you get what I'm, And you know, you showed me the main, bro. I thank you so much. You know, I shouted the liquid and metal. Yeah, and that just started the whole ball game that was right a great there. Song. So yeah, Hyro did a, a track with Monkey from Corn. That yeah. was so cool. Uh, Devil in Disguise. And shouted out the squad and the building and everything, yeah. and that just gave it the go, man. That's pretty cool to be able to jam with Monkey from Corn. And uh, I think it was at a show in uh, in Hollywood when he came up and played Yo, guitar. Yo, the Viper Room. Yeah, yeah and he, he cut your up head up. Yeah, and I cut my, I was bleed. I'm like, wow, Monkey, come rock with me, and I'm bleeding all over the guy. <laughs> Place. Well, you know what? You give it, you give it a hundred thousand percent, High Road man. That's why people are really digging your music and oh, catching on, man. Well, I just love, you know, the little movement that's going on right now in rock. You got me, you got the Fever, you got H O nine nine, you got all these cats. Um, what's it called? Fire Against the Gods. Uh, yeah, Fire from the Gods. Fire from the Gods. Now, now managed by Zoltan from uh, Five Finger Death Punch. That's f crazy, you know? yeah, dude. Hip hop and metal and rock. It's just it, it's come. It's 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 becoming, but. It, it was a thing, and then it kind of went away, and now, yeah. I mean, And now it came back with, like, black people. That's yeah. kind of crazy. Dude, but you know what? But it is. It, it's, I mean, hip-hop culture is so prevalent and dominant everywhere, even oh, yeah, in our yeah, metal yeah. and hard rock worlds, with, I mean, not only with just the fashion, but with the inspiration as well, and, and you're bringing it, dude, and it's really cool. Well, the thing is, I remember a time where the rappers was like, damn, I want to be like the rock stars, you know what I'm saying? Like... We was like, how they sell so many records? How the <laughs> f they get to the top? And now the rappers got it. Yep. So everything goes in cycles. Everything goes in time. And there's a move. Rap is so big. It's so big that people want something different, someone new. 
Because, you know, I, I love hip-hop, but it's all sounding the same right now. If rappers, whoever, rap fans come to something like this, they'll lose their f***ing mind. Dude, I went to a hip-hop festival a uh, yeah. few years back in California, and between songs, they, they were playing, like, metal and rock songs you for see? the audience. And when they played System of a Down, everybody was singing, yeah. and everybody was moshing. Wow. During... In between bands. Wow. When do you see people moshing? It's epic, man. It's, Look it's, it's, but it's like the, it's, but it's the proof of how popular you know rock is. Well, it's the time for it now where, cause back then, uh, I know where I come from. It was oh, it's guitars, and then I'm scared. Now is the time. It's all mixed in together. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. This person could listen to rap and listen to rock at the same time. You know these different bands blended rock in the genre. Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah. He's a big His yeah. favorite I, I see artist is Marilyn Manson Yeah And they trying to jump in And mosh pit And do all this extra Yeah <laughs> no, I, I know I was going to say something too Those uh, hip hop dudes When they're on stage They're like Throwing the horns yeah. <laughs> uh, Lil Uzi Bird had like A pentagram Yeah and, he wanted and to do the whole thing. I'm like Who is this guy Is he a what is he? Yeah. He's like a undercover metal dude. Exactly. And, and then, then they're also encouraging people, start the mosh pit, let's get a mosh they pit going. They want to get it going, you know And then there's saying? all these little girls, and they're not moshing, they don't know what to do. Wow. So it's a safe pit. It's a safe it's pit. It's a safe yeah. pit. I saw, bro, I did an interview a little earlier, homeboy showed me a video, that pit looked so intense. Yeah. Like, people see me crowd surfing it. And they're like, oh, high road crowd server. No, I'm, not, I'm I'm trying to get to the pit. <laughs> but they won't let me get to the pit. Do you, have, you ever, have you ever gotten hurt uh, doing some crazy crowd surfing? Oh, I don't got hurt. Not crowd, not crowd surfing. I got hurt. Bro, so funny. Stage manager stage manager of this one was the stage manager at, at, at Aftershock. And he saw me yeah. jump off the stage. So he told me, he's like, high road. <laughs> I know you want to jump off this <laughs> stage right now. He said, I'm going to tell you right now. You can do it. But there's plywood on the ground, so if your ass get hurt, don't look at me. Ooh, or be <laughs> I saw uh, I saw Vince from Body Count jump off the stage at one of these yeah. festivals, and he broke his knee. Yeah, exactly. Right in front of me. See? Yeah. So be well, careful. The thing out there. is, look, I jump off the stage, and like I land it, but I'll feel it a whole month later. Yeah. <laughs> a whole month. Well, later. you work out. You're a fit boy. Dude. Oh, I know yeah, you. I'm good. trying to be like you. Hey, man. I'm trying to be like. Man. What's up? What's up, bro. my guns, bro? Uh, exactly. Guns? Was trying to get some yeah. of this. Oh, oh hell no. Nah, you popping yours out. <laughs> hey, how's your family? Yeah, family's good? Oh, family good, Your wife's man. good? My wife and shit. Yeah. My wife in France right now visiting her family. Oh, okay. All, All right. good. I did a little FaceTime with her before the show. And, and you, you met my wife, you yeah, yeah, She's Jose awesome. Love, oh, so nice, man. That's my baby right there, man. So, yeah, I can't be out here making mistakes and doing shit like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, dude. Well, uh, Hiro, it's a pleasure to, uh, to talk some shit to you. It's a pleasure to see you rise, and it's a pleasure to support you, man. I got you all the way, man. On and off Talking the radio. Hell yeah, man. Hiro, <laughs> the hero. You know, represent.